Hi guys, I hope you have a nice day and I'm glad to hear with me. I will tell you my opinion about the game Dungeon Alchemist which I played the other day. Let's go! Having good maps is probably one of the top things you can do in change the immersion of your players. So when I saw Dungeon Alchemist and its eye map building, I was kinda excited. This is a fantastic piece of software for people looking to run pen and paper RPGs on virtual tabletops. Overall, I enthusiastically recommend. Now let's take a closer look at this. Dungeon Alchemist is an eye-driven map-making program that allows you to quickly and easily make maps for your players. It's a bit like the Sims home builder really, uh, when you want to make something, say a tavern where your party might get into a fight. Just open a blank map, select tavern and drag out some squares. The program automatically drops in appropriate furnishing for the room like steps and chairs, a bar and maybe a dice game. You can alter weather, lightning, time of day and even add in NPCs. Once your map is made and you're ready to use it, click export and you can print it out for use on a real tabletop. If your games are more on the virtual side, expert in a number of formats to use online on sites like Roll20. The early beta access for the app mod uh, made me a little nervous, but the current state of the app is definitely bring my spirits back up. I can make a decent open terrain map or shop in map in a matter of 15-30 minutes from start to export or I can tweak them for hours if I desire. The eye is more or less the backbone of the entire program. After all there are a ton of free map makers online. Unlike most online options, Dungeon Alchemist populates your dungeon and castles with everything you need to get started. You can use it as is most of the time or get creative. The customization tools allow you to place or size, change color and otherwise alter objects to your heart's content. But it doesn't end with furniture, weather effects, time of day, lightning and even being able to light things or fire really allow you to mold the map into your vision. Lastly, I was impressed to see how many different sites of maps were ready to go on export screen, you know? I'm not too creative when creating maps in advance for my games, but using Dungeon Alchemist makes this process extremely easy. You can get inspired by the eye and take the layout, process it and customize it into something suiting for your campaign. In around 3 minutes, I was able to make a 5 room dungeon with about 10 clicks. It's awesome! And get it imported into Foundry VTT complete with walls and lights. By far the easiest, most intuitive and beautiful map makers I've used. Also includes a fantastic first person view for wandering around your creations to get video or image from angles never before seen. If you play Dungeons and Dragons with friends and uh, one of your biggest struggles is making maps, Dungeon Alchemist will be a blessing for you since you can just draw the shapes of rooms and it will decorate them with the right style. With some practice you will get better at using this for your maps and even your friends will be super impressed. The workshop is filling uh, up with more and more user created maps and seeing other builds help inspire me. I love the camera controls and adding tokens from Hero Forge is a cool touch. Even its current stage of development Dungeon Ultimist it's a godlike tool for map making. Far and above its greatest stretch is raw speed. You can get the fundamentals of a map put together in less than 5 minutes complete with fully furnished lead and connect rooms. If you want to customize from there you absolutely can and there are tons of options for that. But for rapidly creating detailed battle maps I've never seen anything more effective. For someone like me who was completely sold on the concept of AI generation to speed up map creation, I feel like Dungeon Alchemist a fine job on surface level. But diving deeper it shows a lot of issues. I won't say the program is perfect by any means, but it more or less does everything it sets out to do. 
Let's say there are certainly some arrays where it could use a little tweaking. For example, a simple eyedropper tool would be wonders for me when trying to get a good matching attestic for my maps. If I drop a certain door in the front but I forgot to favorite it, I have to scroll through the abandoned options to figure out which one I used previously. Also, you can change the ratio of their dimensions. This is early access. There are still a number of bugs that can use instability. There is still much I wish to see come to this program eventually, but I understand it has only been out a short while. The eye is the biggest draw of this program, and while it does magnificently most of the time, it often needs a little help. Despite having stairs and even elevator, the program doesn't seem to have a way to make second floors or basements. Lastly, I know it's little thing. But I feel like some music would help immensely. When I'm building a map for an hour or two, tinkering with just how to position my ball or peers on the table, I can stand all the ceilings. The red map for plant features blows my mind. Seriously, amazing work, development team. Please keep up the amazing work. So what are my final thoughts? Dungeon Alchemy shows incredible promise. The team behind it are active in communicating with the community through Discord on a daily basis, meaning there is great hope that this piece of software will one day become every damn way dream in terms of session preparation. For those detractors thinking that it's just a gimmickly eye for lazy designers, you're missing out so much more. The ease with which I can crank out dozens of battle maps is unparalleled in my opinion. The cost is well worth it considering the value I place on my time. Amazing tool for ripping out unique battle maps. Everything Dungeon Alchemist claim to do, it does. All in all, it does what it sets out to do, makes map making easy and quick. At this point, developers really need to focus on making the tools effective for map generation. If they do that, it may be an effective tool in a year or two. I'm not a tabletop player, but a digital artist will have the ability to use this software to build my fantasy worlds, to use those backdrops for my paintings. No crash, amazing graphics ultra wise can support and very very friendly learning curve i really recommend this program for anyone who wants to create fast flexible fantasy worlds of their very own they are not worth for this app if you are a grandmaster you need this that's all thank you for listening to the end if you like this video please remember leave and like comment subscribe to the channel i will appreciate it a lot bye bye i love you all See you next videos.